Hey guys, it's Wednesday Rainbow Star. Um, this is another cosplay video, but I'm gonna actually go through a step by step. It's um, I'm making a knife, and it's it's for my my Halloween costume. So my Halloween costume is gonna be the Purple Man from Five Nights at Freddy's, but it's kind of based off of a lot of the fan art that's out there of him, obviously because he's only pixels. But I'm going with a look where he uses a knife um, for the murders or whatever. So I'm gonna go through a step-by-step -step process of how I would make a knife. It's probably gonna take a couple days for me to finish it just because of, you know, things. I'm gonna do a quicker version, I mean, because usually what I would do is I would cover, like the like the scythe, I covered it in paper mache, but because Halloween is um, almost a week away, actually yes, exactly a week away, I'm gonna have to just do duct tape, but I'm gonna paint over it. Um, it's not gonna be very, like, super fancy, it's just gonna be kind of a quick knife, but it should work for what I need it to work for. This knife could also be used for, like, um, any character that uses a knife, really. It's just gonna be kind of basic, but it will kind of show how I work with making weapons, and so hopefully I'll have enough leftover materials to make this, because I... The reason why I'm making it is because I can't find a knife that isn't huge. Like, all the murderer knives are like giant glow-in-the-dark knives. I don't really need that. I want it to be a little more realistic, so it needs to look more like a kitchen knife without actually being a kitchen knife. Or harmful. So, that's why I'm making this knife. So let's get started. Okay, so here's all the supplies that you'll need. We'll need a foam board, which is, as you can see, these, I bought, I mean, I only get like, I think it's a quarter of an inch thick. Um, whatever thickness you want. This is just supposed to be, it's a, it's a knife, so it's got to be thin. These, they can, these part pieces can get kind of expensive, but uh, I think I bought them like a two pack. You'll need a ruler for making exact lines, and I think this will be good for the top of the knife. I don't know what I'm going to do about the lower part yet. A pen, obviously, to draw it. You'll need a razor blade. Please be safe with it. Scissors. Duct tape, because we're not going to be paper macheing it. For the blade, we will need a metallic chrome paint, and then for the handle, just black, or whatever color you want. PVC pipe. This is just going to be for the handle. Um, it doesn't have to be, like, super big. This this fits my hand pretty good. So. And a glue gun. These things are so wonderful. You won't need a ton of glue for this, because I'm really just going to be gluing the handle for the most part. So, for, like, for the scythe, uh, that took so many glue, glue sticks, but this one should just, that should be fine. Another optional item is a cutting board. These are kind of pricey, but it's good for using with X-Acto knives because you don't want to cut through onto the surface of whatever you're working with, unless your table is this material. It's like a really strong rubber, so it's pretty cool. I got this when, in my, for my art class. It was, it, was, it was pretty nice having this, so they have them in different sizes, of course, but again, optional. So I'm kind of not confident in my drawing skills right now, so I'm going to actually use a real knife for reference. If you're going to do that, please be careful. So I'm pretty much just going to trace it. Okay. So, so I'm going to draw the, the knife blade itself. Let me get this right. And the ink is not touching the knife, so don't worry about it being unsanitary or anything. Oh, my head's not in the way. Okay. Now, for what I want to do is ideally make like a little piece um, shoot, right here that sticks out of foam and put that inside the PVC pipe so that it sticks together. So I'll just kind of do like a little, I guess I could use the ruler for that, right? So it doesn't need to look exactly like that handle. So, okay. knife. Okay, so I'm going to fix it a little bit with my ruler now. Just, obviously it's not going to be straight all the way. I just want to... I don't know how long my handle's going to be yet, but obviously you want it to fit inside of your PVC pipe. This is a half inch. We'll just make this a half inch. Should be fine. It'll be fine. Don't do that. Okay. Obviously the PVC pipe will make up for the size, so. Yeah. So there we have our knife, drawn. Now we will cut it out. Okay. 
So now because the um, X-Acto knife will not have cut all the way through, as you can see, you can only see that it's slightly cut through. That's what the scissors are for, is pretty much to finish cutting that up. All right, so now we have a little knife cut out. Looks like it's pretty good. I mean, you can obviously fix it up a little bit. If you want to sandpaper it, you can. That's a little bit more optional. This is obviously not, like, for the, you know, most important thing ever, but, eh, so you want it to look good. So next what we want to do is figure out how much of, that we want of the PVC pipe for the uh, handle. So, I mean, we can obviously force it in there, I guess. There you go. Really long handle? No. So I'll just have to saw this off while you're on here. So just mark it and then saw it. All right. So now this has been sawed. If you don't have a saw, Home Depot should let you do free cuts. So if you need to do them there, if you already have your measurements, that's that's totally good. They usually will let you cut PVC pipe or wood for free. You still have to pay for the whole thing, but so we have a knife so far. Another optional material would be sandpaper. You don't really need it, but it's good for rough edges. You know, just to make it more safe, I guess, to touch. Sandpaper my knife. So our next step would be to glue this in. We can take that out and just put glue on it, stick it in there again, and it should be good. All right, so now we're gonna wrap the blade in duct tape. I don't think I need to wrap. Maybe I could, we'll see. So I've duct taped it. It's not the best in the world, but of course this is just because this is a quick thing. Obviously, if this was for a customer, I would paper mache it. Uh, if you're wondering about um, the last time I used paper mache, I, I used the flour and water method. Like I said, next time I'm going to try the glue method. So I'm sure there's tutorials. I will probably do one once I kind of figure it out better. But for now, duct tape, and I think some people use duct tape for their for their weapons. So. So now we will go about painting it, and I will have to do that outside because spray paint. Always use spray paint in a well-ventilated area. Once it dries on one side, you flip it over to the other. Mine says for 15 minutes, so I'll be waiting 15 minutes before doing the other side. So I let the, I let the knife dry overnight because uh, I think it was kind of humid out, and that can affect your paint. So here's what it looks like now. It's all shiny. I know the blade's still a little bit wrinkly. This is, of course, just like a really quick project. So now I'm going to paint the handle. Just black or whatever color you want, really. You know, whatever. I'm just doing black because that looks like a typical kitchen knife. So I shall now paint it. I'm just going to use basic acrylic paints. You know. Uh, I wish they still made this brand. I don't think they do anymore. But I know Michaels doesn't sell it. But uh, any, you know, easy little acrylic paints are good. I love these paints. I use them to paint, like, actual paintings. So, I mean, whatever. It works. All right. So now it's painted. It looks pretty good, you know, knife. 
So now, as a bonus um, to this, I am going to put a sort of a, a lacquer or a varnish on it. You, you don't have to do that, but I think it'll, um, for for spray paint, it'll, it'll hold it down a little bit better, and it'll make it shinier. You don't have to do that again, because, um, I mean, this is obviously, this is a quick project. This is for Halloween, because I got a lot of other stuff to do, so I had to do this really quick. Um, so, I'm just going to cover it in a lacquer real quick, hope, and hope it dries pretty soon, but the lacquer dries pretty quick. A little sticky at first, but so is spray paint. But after that, this should be done. Alright, so now our knife is done. Now again, of course, it's, you know, just a quick thing, but hey, if you need to make a little toy knife, here you go, or a fake knife, whatever. And it, it looks pretty, you know, convincing. I mean, you know, you could... I can't remember if this is the type of knife Michael Myers uses in Halloween or anything like that, but, you know, pretty cool for Halloween instead of getting, like, the giant, clunky, you know, knives. And, uh, yeah, and it, you know, obviously, it's not harmful at all, it, it won't hurt anyone. I mean, obviously, if you had someone hard enough, but you don't want to do that. Um, but, yeah, it's completely, like, safe and everything, and it should hold up. I mean, don't go jabbing it into people, but, you know, it's like, because you might bend it, but, well, you know, it should be fine. Because more, more layers of foam would have made it, like, stiffer, but then it would take away the feel of it being a nice, thin blade. So, it, I think it works. So around Halloween, keep an eye out. Raven and I will have a video on TikTok Cherry Clock of our Halloween party, and I will be uh, wielding this knife, uh, but not using it, obviously, and, um, you know, we'll be having crazy shenanigans, and anything for, uh, I know I have another video of something that I'm going to show once it's completely done, but for now, here's how to make a little basic knife, hopefully this has been helpful to you, and it was fun for me, because I got to just make, make something pretty quick, too, actually, this only took me, I mean, two days, but because of all the drawing and stuff, but, you know, and I, I, I have other stuff I do throughout the day too, so I'm editing videos, I actually shot a video randomly between this, of, but it's going to be on TikTok Cherry Clock, so just, it's nothing that big deal. So anyway, this has been a knife for Halloween. So thank you for watching, please like my video and subscribe, and I'm I'm now on Instagram, um, just Whimsy Rainbow Star. there's uh, underscores in between Whimsy and Rainbow, or you know, and Star, whatever. And I also have a Facebook page for both TikTok Cherry Clock and for Whimsy Rainbow Star, so check those out. And hopefully you guys enjoy what I have to show. And until next time.